Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, happy weekend, whatever you may be in the world, whatever time of day it may be. I'm Laia. Today, I would like to offer a 45-ish minute accessible yoga practice, which is simply a space for you to explore movement and breath in a way that feels supportive to you and that nurtures the part of you that you are coming to nurture. If I was in, in person or could see you, I'd perhaps ask you like from here to here where you are. <laughs> but it's also a great time if you don't feel like engaging in the chat for you to ask yourself how you're feeling today, how are you arriving in this space, so that as we start to enter the practice, you are more aware of where you're starting from so that you can give yourself permission to at some times put in more effort and at other times of the practice perhaps lean a little bit more into ease. gather any props that you may need for today's practice. Two blocks and a yoga mat. If you have blocks and a yoga mat, that's excellent. Otherwise, just a sturdy yet um, supple surface will do. So just give some time to come to your yoga mat. And actually, before you sit down, you can actually sit or stand. It's up to you. But I invite you to bring your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Or if you're sitting, just bring your seat as steady as possible. And then just give yourself a moment to start to gently either shake or sway. If you're swaying, maybe let your arms get a little bit wider as you sway more side to side. If you're shaking, maybe you start first by bouncing the knees, then letting the shoulders get involved and the arms get involved. But make sure that you're breathing in and out, in, and out. One and more breath, whether you're shaking or swaying or a little, bit of, a little bit of both, inhale. And as you exhale, let the movement pause, slow it down. Take a deep inhalation as you find stillness. And a slow exhalation as you let yourself ground a little bit more. One more inhale. And exhale. Now slowly and mindfully start to bring yourself to lie down on your back. If you have any props near you, feel free to use them for any posture that you would like. Bring your feet flat on the floor, maybe a little bit wider than your hips, and then let your knees rest over one another. And your hands could rest on your belly, or maybe you let them lie on the sides. And just give yourself a moment to make yourself comfortable, so perhaps you wiggle your fingers and your toes, and you move your head a little bit side to side until you find where you can let yourself find stillness. Take a deep inhalation through the nose and out through the nose or the mouth. Two more times like that. Inhale, fill up your lungs. Exhale, let yourself soften toward the earth a bit more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Notice the earth catching you, supporting you. And take a moment here to consider something that happened this week, something that you did, something you created or engaged in that made you feel alive, joyful, And it can be something very small. It could be a moment of laughter. It 
Take a deep inhalation. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Inhale, take your arms overhead. Maybe you stretch them, maybe you catch opposite wrists or opposite elbows with your hands. And on the exhalation, once again, let your body surrender toward the floor. Keep your feet a little bit wider. Let your knees face up toward the ceiling. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, surrender your knees toward the left. They don't have to go very far. It's just until you feel a sensation that serves you. There's no right or wrong. Maybe your head goes the opposite direction of the knees. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, let the knees go a little or a lot to the right. And maybe your gaze goes a little to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, knees to the left, gaze to the right. Let yourself move side to side at your own pace. Perhaps you choose to pause on one side for a bit and then doing the same on the other. Or maybe movement is what serves you. Start to recognize what kind of energy do you want to inhabit right now to bring you to a little bit of balance after a week of doing things, creating, not just for yourself, but for others. So can you soften and lean into what you need right now? One more on each side. Next time your knees return to center, heel toe your feet gently toward one another, press your feet onto the floor and gently press your low back a little bit more into the floor. So imagine that you're letting your tailbone go a little bit more toward the heels or toward the knees even. You can stay here or bring your arms next to your body with your palms facing down. Really press through your hands, your arms, your shoulders. And you can remain here or on your next inhalation, start to lift your hips a little bit off the floor, taking your chest up toward your chin and just make sure that instead of letting the knees draw open, you allow them to remain facing straight forward. One more breath here, inhale. And on your exhalation, if you lifted your hips, slowly lower them down. Keep your left foot planted on the floor and on your next inhalation, start to draw your right knee toward the chest. For some folks, you may stay here, allowing the weight of the leg to be quite sufficient. Perhaps you rather interlace your hands underneath your right thigh. Perhaps you rather catch over the right shin and squeeze it a little bit more toward the center. You could also take circles with your right hip here a couple of times one way. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then switching directions with your circles, inhaling and exhaling. If you created movement, pause it and feel free to interlace your hands underneath your right thigh if they're not already there. If you feel enough sensation onto your right leg, you can stay here, great place to be. If you rather, on your next inhalation, perhaps you start to extend your right leg as little or as much as you want. You don't have to extend the leg all the way. And you could stay there or start to circle your right ankle one way. And then the other. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, lower your right foot next to the left. Bring your arms next to your body once again with your palms down. Stay here pressing the tailbone a little bit more down. Or on your next inhalation, feel free to lift your hips up into a bridge pose. Noticing more opening through the front body, chest up toward the chin, inhale. And on your exhalation, if you lifted your hips, slowly lower them back down. This time, start to draw your left knee toward the chest, hug it in. Notice what arises here. Feel free to stay in stillness, catch under the leg or over the shin, move the head around or not. What do you need? Can you give yourself a 
want your mission to do just that. You don't need to do more or less. If you're doing circles, make sure that you go both ways. One more inhale, and exhale. Pausing the movement at the center, interlace your hands under your left shin if you want to, but not necessary, and on your next inhalation, either stay here or begin to extend your left leg up toward the ceiling as little or as much as you want. Notice what happens if you flex the foot, or perhaps you'd rather take a few circles with your left ankle one way, and then the other. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, lower your left foot back down to the floor. Stretch your arms overhead, stretch your legs away from you. Take a deep breath in as you give yourself a full body stretch. Breathe in. Breathe out, let yourself relax toward the ground just for a moment. Notice any tension you're holding that you can maybe relax or soften into just a bit even if it's just 1%. One more breath, inhale. Exhale to let go. Bring your feet to the floor. Shift your hips a little bit to either side and let yourself roll toward a fetal position for a breath or two. Curling yourself in. And then slowly, with no rush, you can start to press yourself back up. Bring yourself to a seat. Rest your hands on your lap or your knees. Roll your shoulders back and down and lengthen your neck. If you feel like your back is, or like your hips are rolling back, you can feel free to maybe grab your block and sit on it. Perhaps you'd rather use a blanket under your sitting bones. Just make, your make yourself be comfy on the seat. You could also keep one leg extended or both if that's more comfortable for you, yeah? But on your next inhalation, ground through the sitting bones and start to reach your arms out and up. Interlace your palms overhead and then flip them up toward the ceiling. Stretch out, deep breath in. And on your exhalation, lean a little bit toward the right, opening the left side body. Back through center as you inhale. Take it to the other side as you exhale. Inhale, back through center, reach up, maybe your gaze lifts. And on the exhalation, release your fingertips and start to take a twist toward the right so your left hand lands on your right knee and your right hand could land on your hip or maybe behind you on the floor. Let your spine remain long as you inhale. Let the expansion be what matters. And on the exhale, you can remain here or maybe your twist deepens just a bit if that seems necessary or enjoyable for you right now. One more breath. Back through center on your inhalation, ground through the sitting bones, reach your arms up, stretch, maybe interlace your hands and stretch up even more. And on the exhalation, release the fingertips as you take the twist to the other side. Ground down through the sitting bones as you breathe in. Feel the expansion and the twist as you breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. Bring yourself back through center. Inhale, reach both arms up. Palms unite overhead this time. Maybe your gaze lifts. And on the exhalation, draw your hands together in front of your heart, soften your gaze or close your eyes, and you can keep your palms together here. If it resonates best, maybe bring one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your heart. Maybe you release your hands to your knees. Just let yourself be where you'd rather be so that you can take a moment to connect to the ebb and flow of your breath. Notice the breath coming in through the nostrils. Inhale. Notice the air leaving through the nose or the mouth as you exhale. 
let yourself attune to this rhythm, whatever it may be. Maybe you do choose to count your breath so that it remains more steady and it keeps you a little bit more in the present moment. But I invite you to consider now an intention for this practice, for the day ahead. What will you do that sustains you? What choices will you make? And again, let it be simple. Inhale. Side out. Take your arms out and up. Deep breath in. Maybe your eyes remain closed. Maybe they start to flutter open. Exhale, draw your hands in front of your heart. Open your arms wide to the sides. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take your hands behind you. Lean a little bit back. Bring your feet to the ground a little bit wider than your hips. And then give yourself a moment to move your knees from side to side like windshield wipers. You could also keep your hands off the floor and let the hands go opposite directions just to start to activate your core a bit more. Again, just know what it is that you need and that you're seeking in this practice. One more breath. And then let yourself pause at the center. Bring your hands behind you. Lift your chest a bit. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, draw your left foot toward the midline and extend your right leg out to the side as little or as much as you want. You can keep your knee bent and that may allow your spine to become a little bit taller. You can extend the leg and maybe let the back round a bit more. Just notice the difference. Yeah. Inhale to lengthen. And on the exhalation, you can use a block in front of you or your hands to perhaps lower yourself down. And we're just going to go up and down a couple of times. So as you inhale, you lift yourself up. And as you exhale, you wave your spine down. One more. Inhale to come up. Exhale to come down. Walk your hands forward as you remain down, keeping the length of the spine. And then walk your hands over toward your right leg. You don't have to go very far. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, let yourself fold and relax a little bit over the right leg. One more inhale. And exhale. Walk your hands back through the center. And then walk them toward you. Lift your torso up. Bring your hands behind you. Breathe in. Lift your chest. And as you breathe out, shift side. So now your right foot comes toward the midline and your left leg extends as little or as much as you want to. You could keep your hands behind you here. That invites your spine to remain longer. Inhale. And as you exhale, let your spine go down. Again, the hands could be behind you, on the block, on the floor in front. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come down. One more, breathe in. And as you breathe out, let yourself come down. Stretch your arms a little bit forward. Take a moment to find length here. Inhale. And on the exhalation, walk your hands over toward your left leg and let yourself fold and relax the head just for a moment. Notice where the sensation arises and how you can make more space with your breath, with your awareness. On your next inhalation, walk your hands back through the center and then bring them toward you. Lift your chest, breathe in. And as you breathe out, start to sweep your legs around, starting to bring yourself to a tabletop position, hands and knees. Yeah. For some folks, if your wrists are sensitive, you may want to make fists instead. If your knees are sensitive, you can fold your mat sideways and place your knee on it so it's doubled up. You can also pinch it and then double fold it and put your knees. Yeah, just make sure that you're making yourself comfy as we are on this position for a moment. Let your hips move a little side to side. Let your spine undulate in any way that feels good. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. 
Keep your hips stacked over your knees and walk your hands as far forward as you want. For some folks, you may want to grab a block and take it underneath your forehead and then rest your forehead there as your arms extend forward by your ears. Other folks may want to take their forehead down to the ground, keeping your hips up. And if you wanted to turn this more into a back bend and a heart opening, maybe you start to take your chin toward the ground. And remember, you can change your mind at any point. The important thing is that you breathe. Consider taking your hands a little bit wider or a little more narrow, depending on what you're seeking for your shoulders. One more inhale. And exhale. Lift your forehead. If you have a block in front of you, move it out of the way. And slowly let yourself come down to your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead down. And take a moment to wiggle your hips side to side. Breathing into the back body. And exhaling to soften toward the earth. One more inhale. And exhale. Start to bend your left knee here. As if you were taking your heel toward your glute, but you don't have to. And you can stay there. Maybe you flex through the foot and notice the sensation that arises. Or perhaps you keep your forehead down. And on your inhalation, you sweep your left arm out and around. And you grab your left foot with your left hand. And you draw the heel a little bit closer. But again, notice there are many places to go before grabbing the foot. So consider where the sensation arises. One more breath. Inhale. And on the exhalation, without letting the foot slingshot, my friends, slowly release it. Extend your left leg. Bring your left hand under your forehead again. Notice both legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay there. Or if you want to, start to bend your right knee this time. Notice the sensation that arises through the quad, through the leg, through the hip perhaps as well. And consider staying there, or perhaps on your inhalation, you take your right arm around and you grab the outer side of your right foot with your hand. And truly, it has a lot to do with the length of your arm a lot of times. Wherever you are, take one more breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Again, without letting it slingshot, slowly release your foot. Extend your right leg. Bring both hands underneath your shoulders this time. Press through your palms and on your inhalation, lift your chest up as little or as much as you want. Maybe your shoulders lift up toward the ears a little bit. That's okay. Let yourself sway side to side. What feels good in your body right now? One more inhale. And on the exhalation, press through the palms, engage your core. Bring your big toes to touch, separate your knees, and start to send your hips back toward the heels. You don't have to go all the way back. You can bring a blanket between your sitting bones and the heels. You could use a block. You can also prioritize taking the forehead down instead to a block or to the floor. Now, you could stay here with the arms extended, or before you go down, I invite you to cross your left arm under the right. So you're crossing perhaps at the elbows or at the wrists. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, let yourself fold down. For some folks, maybe your chin rests on your arms or your forehead. For some folks, maybe you stay a little bit higher. That's also okay. Do you feel a sensation that you can breathe into? One more breath wherever you are. Inhale. And exhale. Lower your elbows down. Draw them out. Press yourself up so you draw the knees gently toward one another and you sit on your heels. Maybe you bring a block between the heels and you and you sit on it. Take a moment to roll your shoulders one way. Inhale. Exhale. Switch directions. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pause the movement as you inhale. Draw the knees wide a little bit again. And then take your arms in front of you, and this time thread your right arm under the left. 
if you realize you already did that arm, do the other, yeah. And then as you start to feel sensation, let yourself pause. So maybe you stay a little bit higher up. Maybe you lower the elbows down and your chin or your forehead finds support. Just explore what serves you on this side and do just that, yeah? One more breath wherever you are. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly walk the hands back in. Draw the knees toward one another. And lift yourself away from your heels. And on your inhalation, sweep your arms forward and up. Press your hips a little bit forward as your gaze rises. And on the exhalation, let your elbows melt to the sides and your arms relax down, 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 down. Palms face out to the sides. Sweep your arms two more times. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. Exhale, as your hips melt a little bit forward, your arms open out to the sides and they melt down, down, down. One more, breathe in. Breathe out. Let your hands find your low back. Squeeze your elbows toward one another. Lift your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Broaden your collarbones just a bit more. Deep breath in. And on the exhalation, engage your core. Bring your spine back to neutral. And start to bring your hands back down to the ground. You can walk your hands a little bit more forward and stay here. You could also tuck your toes under and send your hips up and back for downward facing dog. One's not better than the other. Whatever shape you choose, consider if what you need is a little bit of movement, whatever that means to you or if you rather find stillness. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more deep breath in. Long, slow breath out. Whether your knees are down on the ground or lifted on your next inhalation, look toward the top of the mat. Start to step your right foot forward, and for some of us, it may require that you grab your ankle with your hand and you take it there, and then take your left foot forward. So you come to the top of the mat. If you have your blocks, or a block at least, you can bring it in front of you. Fingertips on the ground, your block, your shins. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And on your exhalation, bend your knees enough that you can let yourself fold forward, your spine softens and cascades over the lower body. Maybe you let yourself sway a little side to side here. Breathing in and out. One more inhale. And exhale. Press down through your feet and on your inhalation rise up. Take your arms all the way out and up overhead. And again, catch opposite wrist or opposite elbows and lift again. So as you press down through the feet, you energize through your legs, you lengthen through the side body and the arms. Inhale. Exhale, lean a little bit toward the right, opening the left side body. Maybe your gaze goes over to the left. Inhale, coming back through center. Exhale, take it to the other side, keeping the length of the side body. Back through center as you breathe in. Breathe out, open your arms and start to bring your hands to your hips and perhaps turn to the long side of your mat if you're not already there. And take a big step with your feet so your feet are wide. Take a moment to make sure that it is the outer edges of your feet that are parallel to the outer edges of your mat and press down through the outer edges of the feet. Energize through your legs, inhale. And on your exhalation, start to lower your chest halfway down. You don't have to go very far. Once again, press down through the feet, energize through your legs and stay here or take your arms wide to the sides. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, let the hands go where they go. So perhaps that's your shins. Perhaps that's in front of you on a block or the floor. Allow the spine to remain long. Inhale. And on the exhalation, maybe you let yourself fold a little bit more. One more breath wherever you are. Inhale. And exhale. 
Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise all the way back up. And on the exhalation, start to turn your right toes toward the short side of the mat. Take your arms wide. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, bend into your right knee. If you notice yourself leaning back or forth, to see if you can stack your shoulders over your hips a little bit more. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, let your right forearm rest on your right thigh. And first, just extend your left arm straight up. Draw your right rib cage forward and your left rib cage back and remain here. Breathe in. Or as you breathe out, maybe your left hand rests behind your head and you draw your head back and you open up a bit more. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your torso up. Bring your arms to the horizon. Gaze over your right fingertips for a moment. Flip your right palm. Inhale, reach it past your right toes. And on the exhalation, left hand to your left hip. Right arm first, straight up. Feel the length. And maybe on the next exhalation, you lean back a bit more. Your left arm could slide down toward your left shin or knee. One more breath. And then as you extend your right leg, you take your arms back to the horizon, turn your toes to the long side of the mat, arms lower down, take a deep breath in. Side out. Now turn your left toes toward the short side of the mat, take your arms to the horizon, breathe in. And as you breathe out, bend into your left knee. Take a moment to adjust your stance until you feel steady. If there is a wall near you, feel free to use it for balance. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhalation, take your left forearm to your left thigh, right arm straight up toward the ceiling. Rotate your left rib cage forward and your right rib cage back. And remain here or perhaps surrender your right hand behind your head. Notice if you're collapsing onto your left shoulder, become a little bit more buoyant. Inhale, rise back up into your warrior two. Take your gaze over your left fingertips. Now flip your left palm, reach it forwards. Inhale. And on your exhalation, right hand to your hip or down to your leg. Extend your left arm up first. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, maybe you lean back a little, but not necessary. Remain with your breath. One more inhale. And exhale. Extend your bent leg, take your arms to the horizon, and then lower the arms as you turn your toes to the long side of the mat. Press down through the outer edges of your feet, lift your chest, breathe in. And as you breathe out, let your shoulders relax, let your arms release to the side. Now heel toe your feet a little bit closer, this time allowing your toes to point out and your heels to point in. So this is a very personal stance, so you're going to have to explore. And perhaps you keep your feet wide and you find yourself going down halfway. You can keep your hands on your thighs and you may notice that some things pop <laughs> and you could stay there. You could also start to bring yourself more toward a yogi squat. One way to get there is to use a block and sit on your block and then just take your feet to the ground and then your elbows to the insides of the legs. You could do this, this with your hips floating. My body is not going to do that today, so I'm not going to demonstrate it. You could also take it to the ground, bringing your feet a little bit wider than your hips. And once again, elbows on the inside and your toes are gently turned out, but a little bit less here. So notice that there are several options. Choose what works for you. And if discomfort arises, notice what capacity you have for it before you shift to a shape that's more comfortable. And all answers are okay. Just, just know yourself. Know what you need. Take a couple more breaths. And when you're ready, you can bring yourself to sit on the floor. Maybe you shake out your legs. Hmm. Breathe in. And breathe out. And I invite you now to either find a comfortable seat or lie down. Again, consider if as you create this space to reset, what you intend is to bring more ease into your life. Maybe let yourself lie down so you start to embody that. If what you need right now today 
in the upcoming days is to energize yourself more. Perhaps you find yourself sitting up. But either way, whether you're lying down or sitting, before you bring yourself to stillness, I invite you to shake again or to sway again, just like we did at the beginning of practice. So if you're seated, it might be more about the arms and the upper body. If you're lying down, maybe you stretch your arms and your legs up and then you shake that way. Just let yourself release a little bit of the leftover tension. And then eventually bring yourself to stillness just for a few moments. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your nose or your mouth. In through the nose. Out through the nose or the mouth. Soften and let go. If you have extra time today, I encourage you to lower the volume and let yourself remain in stillness for three to five more minutes. If it's time for you to return into whatever you're returning to in your day, take one more breath in complete stillness, in through the nose, letting it expand front to back, side to side, and top to bottom. Hold at the top, acknowledging the abundance, side out, and then slowly start to bring movement back in, your fingers, your shoulders, your head, wiggle your toes, stretch out if it serves you, yawn. If you're lying down, slowly bringing yourself to a seat. There's no rush. Take your time. Letting your hands rest on your lap or your knees. Or maybe bringing one hand to your abdomen and one to your heart. Perhaps you'd rather bring your hands in Anjali Mudra. Just know why you choose what you choose, what supports you. What invites you to be here and now, observing how you feel after this practice? There's no right or wrong answer, just be honest. How do you feel in your body? What is going on in your mind? How's your energy? And with as little or as much knowledge as you gain from observing and choosing, breathing, what will you do with it today? How will you move? How will you act? How will you speak? How will you let yourself think and behave in a way that is, even if it's 1% more aligned? with who you truly are. Inhale deeply. And let go. Release your hands. If your eyes are closed, give yourself a few moments to blink them open. And as always, I invite you to do absolutely nothing for a breath or two, it's just letting the world come back to focus. Feel the temperature of where you are. Mm, and only when you're ready, start to engage again.
All right, friends, I hope that you enjoyed this weekend reset yoga practice. Um, thank you, Jada. Thank you, Alison. Exactly what you needed. I think that's my favorite thing about practicing asana, physical yoga, and breath work, is that I always get what I need, um, especially if I'm willing to listen. Um, I know that oftentimes um, the mainstream yoga culture is to push ourselves into shapes. I believe in loving ourselves into whatever shape the body feels like being in, you know? And so I hope that you found the space that you needed today. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna go feed myself because I'm a hungry woman. If you haven't fed yourself today, I invite you to consider if that's something that you're able to do, to do it. Um, even if you're like, oh, but it's so bad for me. Sometimes I find it's better than not feeding myself anything. So, love you all. Take good care of yourselves and I will see you again soon. Bye everybody. Thank you.